landscaping on a large lot with a view of the beautiful prairie and the sunset at night. Come on in. The belt is a modern upgraded throughout steel frame, sip walls, three inch foam insulation, upgrades galore that you won't find in most tiny homes, especially with the steel built frame on the trailer made trailer. I designed it to have the kitchen on one end and the bathroom on the other by preference. I have seven windows, so there is an incredible amount of light. The cabinetry throughout is custom. Cabinets up and down. There's more storage than you will know what to do with, including a giant freezer and an even bigger refrigerator. The counters are Corian countertops as well as seamless deep sinks. That means there's no gaps all the way around. We've got lovely finishes. Backsplash added. For some personality, you've got a light underneath the cupboard for at night. You've also got a nice soft light for the evening. You've got the Mr. Cool Mini Split pre-wired for cable and internet by the local provider. Corrugated metal ceiling with a lovely ceiling fan. And again, the cabinetry is beyond more than you will need. It's super deep. This cabinet goes all the way back to the corner. These two cabinets I use for dishes. You have additional cabinets above the microwave, besides the microwave. Three there. You've got your traditional junk drawer stuff you need to get at easily. More storage down below, for maybe a blender, a full-size four-top electric stove and oven. Storage down below for pots and pans. I even store the things I use regularly in the oven. And everything in here is electric with a 50 amp cord, giant microwave, additional storage up by the mini split privacy window if needed, otherwise you've got full light. The floors are unlike any other tiny home. They are ceramic, so there will be no off-gassing, and they are also heated by Mr. Warm-Up. It's wonderful in the winter, also it's nice. So the loft doesn't get super hot, you just use your heated floors you come downstairs in the morning and you have warm tootsies. We've got an L-shaped built-in couch. Both sections open up with massive storage. We've got a beautiful view in the White Mountains. Tremendous airflow. We have a flip-up desk. So if it's in, not in use, Feel free to flip down and give yourself a little more space. I've thought about converting this by building a four, a little four squared bench and when it not in use as maybe a bed for um, a visitor, you can just store it underneath where I have the chair currently or you've got all the space here. TV is on a swivel. You can watch it upstairs, downstairs, left, right. And then we come to the washer-dryer combo. Ventless, built-in, Corian countertop. Lots of space here for extra storage. And speaking of storage, you can't get enough in this tiny home. This closet is so deep you can hang clothes up and down and store anything you want behind there so it's super super deep speaking of storage 
We've got three steps that start up to the loft. Each of them are drawers that pull out with lots and lots more storage. I didn't show you underneath the couch. Storage galore. And underneath here. So let's make our way into the bathroom. Got your privacy pocket door. Opens up to a full-size bathroom, including a full-size shower and soaking tub. All the fixtures and shelving. You've got your full-size vanity. Two storage spots underneath the sink, a pull-out drawer, and this additional deep section. You can put anything you want in there. Accent wall, marble covering, window for ventilation, your light and your lovely regular full hard plumbed toilet. Another feature is an automatic sensor here, so if it sends moisture and you forget to put the fan on when you go in the shower, it will kick on automatically. So a tremendous airflow was considered throughout. The walls, I did not mention, are MGO, magnesium oxide board. It will not mold or rot. That was my whole purpose of building a tiny house that was safe from that. So let's move on upstairs. Again, we've got the three storage steps. Up into the giant loft. I forget the size of it, but you will see. I've got three giant windows, so tremendous light. I've got a queen size bed, and this video is hard to do it justice. There's tons of storage next to the bed. You can put a whole three level, like those plastic bedside drawers with the little nightstand. And the most beautiful part is the sun sets right out that window at night. You've got a light switch here that you can turn off once you get up because you can flip on the switch from down below. And you've also got two separate lights by the window. You've got USB plug-ins. You've got a hard line phone cable coax line, light switches, blinds installed throughout. And again, yes, this is a queen size bed with plenty of headroom. So it's a 13 foot six inch ceiling at the peak, which is as tall as a semi. You can easily sit in the bed upright without hitting your head. My favorite hitch line to take advantage of as much headroom. You also have a door here for safety if you have any small children or pets upstairs with you. And then you've got the plexiglass so it gives you a visual, you can see anything down below, and again, you can turn the TV your direction. All right. Heading down, you get the full view of a giant living area with an L-shaped kitchen, a giant fridge and freezer, microwave, full electric oven. The couches come with covers that I've recently washed, so I kept them covered for now, so they stay nice and clean for the next owner. And these are part of the custom cabinetries that are built in. That a cabinet maker did a phenomenal job throughout, as you can see. Any questions, contact the listing broker, Chelsea. And I hope you enjoyed my tour of my luxury upgraded steel framed 24 foot
trailer made trailer build. Located with a legal parking spot for at this point three forty nine a month for a giant lot rent. Hi, welcome to the outside of fourteen twelve on Mary Drive, number four in Lakeside, Arizona, Stinny Tiny House Community. As you can see the driveway is very long. The lot size is bigger than most. foot by eight and a half and your lot comes back so you can kind of see the change in the terrain a lot of people in this community build right here an additional 12 by 12 or put one of their sheds for some of their outdoor landscaping tools and such it's a beautiful community very well kept you can't find a spot for 349 in a tiny house community across the country. The landowner of Lexini has left it up to each individual to do their own landscaping to save you on your lot rent because that is the whole purpose of going tiny is downsizing not only cost and space. tenant so you brought the grandfathered in on that cost. The slab may have to be paid for. 